And could have there had it not been for the Stewart drop. Here comes a blitz on second and ten. J.W. Walsh right back up the seam again. This one's not dropped by Tracy Moore. He fights his way down to about the 12-yard line. They have the sense that they had the West Virginia defense on its heels, and they come right back. Moore working against the safety. There they go again. Up the middle, Desmond Rowland. He is down to about the seven-yard line, and so far this year in college football, there has not been a better red zone team than Oklahoma State. They haven't been here today, but coming into today, they were the only team in the country to score a touchdown on every red zone trip so far this season. They were 15 for 15. 15 touchdowns on 15 trips into the red zone. Now it's second and four. Walsh, buying time, back of the end zone, incomplete. Now it's third down and four. A lot of yellow jerseys down there. You will not get man coverage from West Virginia down here. Their tendency is to drop a lot of guys and try and take advantage of the short area of the field there and overload it. Walsh can buy time with his legs, though. Three-man rush. So Walsh has time. Flag down as he throws a jump ball in the end zone. And that is caught. No signal yet. The officials confer. Josh Stewart has it. And they'll rule it incomplete with a flag down. Carl Joseph at the last moment might have ripped it away from Josh Stewart. It looked like he had it. But well, once you leave your feet, you have to come back down First with control. Foul, face mask. Number 34, defense. Huge call. Penalty being forced half the distance to the goal. First down. That's Icky Banks, the corner on that side. He's up close in bump and run position and gets his left hand up around the face mask. And that's why they, they flagged him for that. So in spite of the incompletion on third down, it's a free first down for Oklahoma State inside the five. Jeremy Smith up the middle. Stood up at the goal line. Did he break the plane? A second push of the pile. It looks like Darwin Cook stopped him just short of the goal line. It will be second down and goal. And Cook, the safety, just brings it all in the end there. Stewart was about to fall into the end zone. Look at that big hit right there. That's a good hit. And now we have an injury for West Virginia. Doug Rigg. Second down and goal from inside the one. Walsh, lob pass, broken up, intended for Tracy Moore. Now it's third down and goal from inside the one. Travis Bell. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. You know, you have to be able to run the football down there, and that's one of the criticisms of the spread offense is that inside the the five, you don't do that. You can't run the ball. But you've got Walsh back there. You got a diamond formation. I gotta believe you gotta have confidence and run the football. Roland Smith and Seaton all in the backfield surrounding J.W. Walsh. They'll try and run it. No chance. Jeremy Smith dropped well behind the line. And West Virginia thinks the ball came out. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. Yeah, it was hard to see anything or enough in there to overturn it. And remember, the standard is you got to have conclusive evidence or indisputable evidence to overturn the call on the field. Now, technically, Oklahoma State could still score a touchdown if they fake the field goal. But if they go ahead and try the field goal with Ben Grogan, it would be the first time that they had been stopped from scoring a touchdown inside the red zone. This every, for the tie. Every kick has been an adventure today. And the freshman Ben Grogan hits the upright!
Are you kidding me? Special teams all day long for both teams. Oh, you have got to be sound in the kicking game. They are not. And they had first down inside the two, and they come away with nothing. With nothing.